Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of reading South African celebrity birth charts without any pre-context. So in today's episode, we're going to read none other than Aries, who is an Aries, and see what's going on in his life and what's going on in his birth chart. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so Aries, aka Lisa Honolo Ronald, was born on the 27th of March 1997, according to Google, which makes him a 6 degrees Aries sun. We don't know what time he's born, but regardless of whatever time he would be born, he does have a Scorpio moon. That's that. And he also has an Aries stellium, and he has a Mars a Virgo. Now, one thing that says, like one thing about this chart is that there's no Venus, right? So there's no all these planets i mean all these signs aries scorpio and virgo they all fall in venus and as you can see his venus is in aries which means it's debilitated right so he has a debilitated way of showing and expressing love and also receiving love okay but let's talk about the good parts first right so he has all the mars placements right he has scorpio and aries which are all ruled by mars and his mars is in virgo right so whatever sign you have in your sun and moon look at what um, planet rules that because then that'll show you how those planets um, kind of display themselves so on one end Aries is very serious right and is very fussy about having things particular in the exact way that he wants them to be otherwise he's going to criticize nag in an aggressive way right his energy isn't very welcoming he doesn't have venusian taurus libra energy where you can kind of like have a conversation with him and feel like you guys are relating to each other or feel like you know he's a relatable person like when speaking to aries you'll probably feel intimidated number one you're gonna feel um like you have to live up to a specific expectation and that's also because of his little mars his mars and virgo here right when virgo placements always kind of have a standard that they project onto other people for those people to um live up to but anyway on the good side he has a lot of passion aries is very very passionate person like his moon he's how he, i don't know how he expresses himself emotionally and just generally he's very passionate right but he's also very serious scorpio moons tend to not want to be around people especially new people or people that they aren't familiar with or people that they haven't built a connection with in order to understand how they are aries are similar in that sense but aries are more like oh whatever i'm down to hang out with people as long as i'm getting the attention or as long as like you know i'm getting recognition for being an individual or whatever but scorpio placements especially scorpio moons don't like being around people and they like to live a private life which is the reason why we don't really see aries much like in social media like interviews and we only get to see him um when he's doing music stuff right and that also has to do with that scorpio moon controlling aspect right because scorpio moons don't like to do things if they don't have control over it because that control means that they are um, they have the upper hand and having the upper hand means what that you can control the narrative right and obviously he can't control everything but he can control his appearance and how much people can see and know about him okay and also he has his moon in scorpio conjuncting chiron um, so chiron we know is the wounded healer chiron makes things a lot more difficult for us and it like it's a thing where we have to live with that pain like the kind of wound that we have to live with so moon is you know has to relate with our mother having a scorpio moon already lets me know that some people like um, well people with scorpio moons i already know have a rough relationship with their mother or their mom was just like somebody who was very dominant like that an overly domineering mother you know and that over overly domineering personality of a mother can kind of like make somebody feel like they're living for their mom or they're living to live up to their mom's desires you know because a scorpio like that scorpio has no relatability it's pluto and it's mars you know so it's a lot of aggression and it's a lot of passion but overdoing everything you know so i feel like his mom could have been overprotective probably really bossy probably like one of those ladies that like the whole hood was afraid of or the whole neighborhood was like afraid of because she was like always somebody that had shit popping you know if you crossed her like we all knew like it was dead for you so he probably also like internalizes that so and also he's an airy son so like a lot of it's quick for him to get mad and when he gets mad he gets super mad you know what i'm saying and then like scarily mad you know also, getting into this, Mars conjuncting Lilith and his North Node. Well, actually, Mars conjuncting his North Node, right? So he's born into this world to 
be on these like um daily routines virgo is all about daily routines your health organizing your life you know so he's already passionate about doing these things like being structured in the way that you live your life and structuring your life in such a way that everything happens fluently and in a way that happens um yeah organizedly but you're having Virgo North Node, you're just here to organize your life. Because in your past life, as a, Pis as a Pisces South Node, you were somebody who liked to escape a lot. You liked to escape in art and not really ground yourself in reality. So now in this life, you are here to be overly aware of your routines, of your body, and how you structure your life on a day-to-day -day basis. And he has that with Mars as well. So he could be really passionate about structuring his life and also he has the support of his scorpio moon because scorpio and virgo sextile meaning they work harmoniously so he can be very passionate about structuring his life the only thing is that like if he if you are part of his life he's gonna want to do that to you he's gonna want to like boss you around and tell you how to live and then if you're not living up to what he thinks you should be living up to he's gonna criticize you and get pissed off and then i'm pretty sure he he fights all the time with people that are close to him and the people close to him probably think that he's like overly controlling of other people's decisions you know and it can feel like he's not really letting you make your own decisions because he just sees the fault of what you're doing and then trying to call you out on that you know but there's no freedom in that area so chill out on that bro also because he's a scorpio moon we all know like he has a very intimidating energy you know like an unsettling vibe about him so he naturally requires people who are very confident in him in themselves to be around him because he's a very like if you know a scorpio moon you know how intense they can get and you know how like if you can't handle it then they'll probably push you away which is why aries is probably somebody who is private and only fucks with people that already know him aka his brothers his girlfriend mother family mem really just family members like let's just keep it a buck now getting into aspects right he has his son conjuncting mercury and venus this is a very common aspect um having sun and mercury um actually let's talk about sun and venus because his mercury is like a lot further in degrees his sun and his venus are conjunct so i think when he does get to know you he's like one of those people that um you kind of see like the more fun goofy like aries childish side of him you know where he's like super funny i'm sure he's a funny person like he's hella hilarious you know um and with that mars and virgo with that mars and virgo like lets me know that he's very particular he's a very he's a perfectionist in his craft right and he's probably really hard on himself as well but he's hard on other people and also like if he cares he's like one of those people if he cares about you then he starts to criticize you or like you know do virgo shit like where he'll be like do do better like do better but the way it's gonna come across is gonna be very negative because of that mars aspect you know mars is not like a relatable planet mars is like the god of war so how he um how he projects his love and how he you know what i'm saying lets you know that he's trying to protect you is gonna be in a very like not relatable way and not no he won't make you feel like like in the moment it won't feel like oh like he cares about me whatever unless you know him once again you know but that's just how they that's how, that's how he um you know expresses his love and expresses his individuality in terms of his relationships okay now getting into aspects he has moon squaring jupiter and uranus that lets me know, same like Uncle Waffles, they have fluctuating moods. And also, he's probably somebody who eats his emotions away. And also, he's an overspender. But that's also because of this Venus in Aries here, where he does things impulsively as well, you know. But with Mer with his moon in um, Scorpio squaring Jupiter and Uranus in Aquarius, fluctuating moods. And this can kind of like show itself as having like bipolar or like B BPD sometimes you know where and also he's a scorpio moon so he's in, his emotions get very intense and he's either really intense or he's like really cold and really aloof you know but in terms of like his assets he's very generous i feel like he's a very generous person you know um but sometimes he gets into these moods where he's like he, he's like extreme in everything he, he's either spending a lot or he's like stingy as hell with his money you know what i'm saying that kind anyway of guys um if you guys would like a reading hit me up readings are not free dm me on my instagram and we'll book a date for your reading and happy belated birthday aries love you loads bro and um yeah i'll see you in my next episode